Watch closely and you'll see the magical color changing effects paint job that I used on this ring from Props and Beyond. I got a lot of messages asking, how'd you make that? So here's a tutorial. Liquid crystal is the magic ingredient. It changes color depending on temperature, just like a mood ring. There are two types, one that changes through 12 different colors and the other changes through six different colors. Here's how they each react to heat. I've applied multiple coats to this black paper so you can see the difference. You can only see this effect on a dark background. Black is best. My hands are a bit cold, so I'm going to show you the full effect using a heat gun. The 12 color type starts out transparent, then changes to brown, red, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, yellow, green, blue, and purple. The six color type starts transparent, then changes to brown, red, green, blue, and purple. As they cool, they cycle back through those colors and eventually will go back to transparent. Again, this has to be on a black or dark background to show. You won't see it if you apply it to a light colored background. Here's what the material looks like before it's applied. On the left is the 12 color variety. On the right is the six color type. These are both the pure form, which has a thicker consistency. It can only be diluted with a small amount of distilled water only. Mixing it with anything else will ruin the color change effect. The texture of this material has a slightly oily feel to it, similar to lotion. Because these aren't paint or ink and have that slight oily feel, it's very important to use a matte textured base. If you don't use a matte texture, it won't stick. Here I've put a thin layer of the liquid crystal on a piece of transparent plastic that has a shiny surface. On the left, I used a base coat of matte varnish first and just spread it around with a toothpick. On the right, I applied the liquid crystal directly to the plastic. You can see that the sample on the right wants to bead up while the left sample stays put. Always use a matte base coat. That beading up that I mentioned happens on your brush as well, as you can see here. If you are painting very fine details with liquid crystal, keep an eye on that. I'm going to speed up here as I do some of the painting. The important things to remember is to use the matte base, use a black or dark color background, and remember this material is not paint. It isn't sticky. It won't stick to a background like paint or ink or any other material that you normally would paint with. Uh, you have to be very delicate with it and be careful not to drag it off after you've laid it down. You don't want to add too many layers and you don't want to mess with it too much or it will clump up. If you need a second layer, add it very gently and only after your first layer is completely dry so you don't drag the material off of the first layer and leave some bare spots. So what do you do if you mess up? Well, here's a spot where I have liquid crystal outside the little rune lines. I let it dry thoroughly and I'm just using a fine line brush with some of my matte black to go over the area where I don't want the liquid crystal to show. And it really helps to blow on the area first or use your thumb or, or your fingers to heat it up so the color change effect kicks in and you can see exactly where you need to touch up. Another method you can use to get rid of liquid crystal in the wrong areas is just to scratch it off after it's dry. Remember, it doesn't adhere like paint or ink, and it's the consistency of dried lotion. So here I'm using a pin to scrape some off, and as you can see, it comes right off. Next, I'm going to show you my favorite material for ultra shiny metallic silver. That's Molotow Liquid Chrome. This comes in paint pens, but I prefer to get the refill container and use it with a paintbrush instead. Make sure you shake it well. And you wanna paint this on in rather heavy coats so the chrome can activate and rise to the surface of the liquid. If you paint it on too thin, the result is shiny, but it's not mirror-like. If you load your, your brush and float a thick layer over the surface, you will see the difference.
Just watch how fast this takes effect. And there it is. And here's all the materials that I used for this project, along with some bonus tips at the end. The rings are from propsandbeyond.com. The primer I prefer to use is Vallejo Surface Primer in black, but you can use any flat black. I also used AK Interactive Ultra Matte Varnish to make sure I had a good flat surface to work with. The Liquid Crystal Pure Form 12 color variety is from solarcolordust.com. Again, the Liquid Chrome is from Malatau, and definitely get that refill. I used Liquitex Clear Varnish or Citadel Ard Coat, but be sure to test your clear varnish. Some don't work well with the liquid crystal.